I've been using lenses from this company for the better part of the past 10 years. And anytime I pull one out and put it on my camera or somebody sees the images coming out of these lenses, the first question I get is what lens is that and who makes it? And I think this is a real shame because if you are into the creative side of photography, there is almost no better company to know about because these lenses are very, very specifically creative style lenses. And what this manufacturer is doing is they are developing lenses, which is almost the exact opposite of what the rest of the industry is doing right now. And I've got three lenses in front of me right now. These are three lenses that I use on a semi-regular basis. One of them you can't get anymore, but it really just gives you an idea of how innovative this company is. And the two that I'm really gonna focus this video on are not only just two different lenses, each lens is three lenses in one. So you get kind of a three for one deal with those lenses. Now, first of all, who is this company? This company is a company called Lens Baby. Started in Portland, Oregon, probably somewhere around about 20 years ago by a professional photographer that was trying to get some unique creative images for his professional photography. Now, that's not something I've done. I've not used these in a professional environment, but there's nothing stopping you from doing so. And certainly that is why he developed his first lens. Now, I think this was the second Lens Baby lens ever released. And you'll notice it is a very unique looking lens. It's actually, the barrel of the lens is actually a hose from a, I think a shop vac or a vacuum cleaner. And you focus the lens by pushing it in and out against the camera, but you can also throw the plane of focus off by moving the lens like this. To change the aperture blades in this, it is a completely unique experience whereby the aperture blades have to be put in manually, dropped in, and then to get them back out to change your aperture, you use a magnet to get out of them. Now, this is a, not a product that's made anymore. This was, I think, their second product, and they have come a long way since then. And these are the two products that I'm really going to focus this video on. I actually bought that uh, original Lens Baby lens used. And you can actually find them on eBay. I'll put a link in the description down below actually to the eBay listings for this lens because you can find them on eBay and you can find them at a pretty reasonable price and they are a super fun lens to use. But these are the two lenses I really want to talk about in this video. One is a pinhole lens and it has three different lens or pinhole functions in it. And the other one is a trio lens. It actually has glass elements, it's a proper lens, but it has three different selecting functions so you can select one of the three different looks that you wanna go for. This makes these lenses a three lens in one. And when I think about the pricing on these lenses, which are already reasonably budget friendly, when you divide that by three, they start to get very, very cheap and the price comes in line with some of the most cheap uh, Chinese lenses that you can buy if you're buying an individual lens, if you think of these as a three-in-one thing. First of all, I'll just talk about uh, this little pinhole lens to start with. Pinhole photography is something that's nothing new. Uh, a lot of people did it in, in school when they were young. They probably don't do it so much anymore since there isn't much film around. But essentially what it is, is there is no lens or you know glass lens in this actual lens, I guess you would call it. It's just a pinhole. And you have three different functions. You've got an F90, F45, and F22. And if you can see on the lens, it shows the F90 is just an individual dot and that means that it's just a single dot for your pinhole. The F45 is a series of dots, if you can see there, that's what the actual pinhole looks like. And then the F22 is kind of like a bullseye shape. And each of these give you a completely different look. Now, I use this for a bit of fun, and I think this is a perfect gift for some photographer that just has every lens and never even thought of doing something like this but it is a very, very specific, more fun look without a whole bunch of practical application. And I'm probably throwing some, I'll throw some samples on screen now so you can see what it looks like. Um, but if you were looking at your first lens baby lens, it's probably not something I would recommend. Sometimes this does go on sale though, and I bought it when it was on sale and, and I thought it was a pretty good value when it was on sale. And I will put a link to that in the description down below as well. Now, this is the one that I really want to talk about. This is my latest Lens ba Baby product. And I should mention that this is not a sponsored video. Lens Baby has, doesn't even know I exist, except for the one time I reached out and asked them if they wanted to do a collaboration with me, and they just politely said no. So uh, I paid for all these products with my own money, and sort of I use them in my own life. 
Now, this is the Lens Baby Trio. The thing I really like about this lens is not only is it three lenses in one, but it is three lenses that are in line with many of the other Lens Baby lens products. So because their lenses are designed to give you a certain specific creative look, they have different labels on them that associate or let you know what that look is. So there's a velvet look series of lenses, there is a um, sweet spot series of lenses, and there's a twist series of lenses. And this lens allows you to select those different looks just by turning the lens to the given point. And if you see at the top there where it lines up with the white line, that tells you what look you've got. So right now I've got it in the velvet mode. If I just turn this, now I'm in the sweet spot mode, turn it one more time, and now I'm in the twist mode. So if you are new to Lens Baby, this is going to give you the ability to sample their style of creative lenses in one lens for a reasonably cost-effective price. Now, just looking at this lens and the three different look looks that it offers, the twist function is very, very similar to some vintage lenses like the Helios 44-2 or Helios 44-M, where you get a swirly background blur. I should also mention that this lens is a full-frame lens. All these lenses are full-frame lenses, but they also work exceptionally well on APS-C or crop sensor cameras as well, even micro four-thirds. So you can use it on all of them and you when you use it on a full frame camera, you get a little bit more of the effect because you get sort of a wider field of view, but you can use it on all of them. Uh, just back to the twist function on this one. The twist function is going to give you a swirly out of focus area in the background. And as you get further to the edge of frame, you get a bit more swirl. Now this lens is an f3.5 lens and it's fixed at f3.5. So unlike some of their other lenses that might go to f1.4, f2, what have you, you're not going to get the same level of effect with all these different effects that you are in one of those dedicated lenses. But you are getting a chance to sample this. And I was surprised even at f3.5 how I was able to get quite a swirly background blur still with this. The next one is the sweet spot. And the sweet spot essentially gives you an area of sharp and detailed in-focus area in the middle of your image. And then as you move towards the outside, it becomes more blurry and kind of this sort of creamy background blur, even if that is in the plane focus. The thing I like about this is you can have a situation where you want to draw attention to an object or a subject in the middle of frame. But say you don't have the ability to get the background very, very far from them, or say you don't have an f1.4 lens that allows you to really blur out the background. With the sweet spot, all you've got to do is put the person in the center of frame, and the lens itself, because it kind of gets crazy and blurry uh, as it gets to the edges, it gives you this sort of blurry background isolating sensation without the need to have an f1.4 lens or without the need to get the background way, way far away from the subject. So even at f3.5, you get that effect. You don't need sort of f1.4 to sort of achieve that effect. And I'm sure I've thrown some examples on screen so you can see what that looks like. And then the final one is the velvet mode. And velvet mode is kind of along the lines of a diffusion or glow filter type, type look, uh, used for a dreamlike look or for sort of a soft classic portrait style shot, very good on skin tones, uh, very good if you've got somebody who's a little bit older like myself nowadays, where if you get one of these super sharp clinical Sony lenses, it shows every wrinkle on my face. Just put it in the velvet mode and your subject is going to thank you very much for using the velvet mode. And so the velvet mode is, is great for that sort of creamy, dreamy sort of image diffusion filter type thing. And the thing that I find very interesting nowadays, as you see with the higher megapixels and the lens is getting sharper and sharper and sharper, people are getting these lenses and then they're seeing the images so sharp that they're going out and buying expensive diffusion filters to diffuse that image to make it look more nice and natural and pleasing or they're doing editing and post giving a little bit of blur or glow to the whole effect to sort of fix that up. You're going to get that look straight out of camera regardless of your megapixels if you use the velvet effect on this lens. While editing this video, I discovered that my velvet lens doesn't focus to infinity. So once you get beyond about six feet, it's 
it's unable to focus on anything. And that's because each of the individual lenses in the trio is tuned at the factory for its specific focus range. And in this case, I'm just sending the lens back and they're going to send me a new copy, but just something to be aware of if you are looking at the trio lens. So these are some incredible and unique products that nobody else is making anything like this. And if you've never heard about Lens Baby before, you have now. And of course, I will link the best prices that I found on these products in the description down below. Now, buying a new lens is only one way to improve your photography. And I've just thrown a video on screen now. I think this is the best tutorial that I've ever done on photography. And I suspect if you watch that video to the end, you will be a better photographer at the end of that video than you are right now.